here is what's new in iOS 17.5 latest update on my iPhone 11 device. So like any update till now, uh, it contains some bug fixes and security updates for your phone. But the biggest change coming to iPhones this time around is the cross-platform tracking detection. So it's a new anti-tracking feature that allows your iPhone to identify third-party trackers around you and disable them. So for this, Apple has partnered with Google and they created a new system called Detecting Unwanted Location Trackers. So this will make sure that you get an alert when an unknown tracker is nearby regardless of the phone's operating system. Like un unidentified uh, AirTags, your iPhone can now alert you with an item found moving with you notification when it detects any Bluetooth trackers around you. And similarly, users on Android devices, which has uh, Android 6.0 or later, will see the also some alert when a device detects an unknown tracker, including an AirTag. Uh, so you can now view the tracker's identifier, make it ring to locate where it's hidden, and then get instructions to disable it. One of the also new things is uh, is that you can now, uh, this update adds a repair state mode. Inside find my app, inside find my application. So you need, you need to open uh, find my application. This feature allows your iPhone to remain active on uh, Apple's find my network with its activation lock turned on. Prior to this, whenever you had to send your device to repair, you had to disable Find My and Activation Lock on your iPhone before the repair process began. So you can click here, remove this device. And as you can see now, uh, you can st still prepare this device for repairment and continue with its process. But right now I will click cancel because I don't want to do that. And also adding to this, adding to the changes in iOS 17.4, the latest update, so this one, allows developers in the European Union to offer their apps directly on their websites. This means that you can now download app without going to the App Store. You can you, you just need to go to their website and download it. But there is a catch that only developers that have. Uh, that that are that are developer for two or more years and they need to have a uh, over one million app installs in the last year only them only they can offer web downloads so the that's that's a catch for this for this feature and also apple has added uh, minor improvements to the apple news plus and podcast apps so the news plus now offers a new built-in Quartiles Word game and and an offline mode to access your feed and podcasts get uh, new iOS widgets for the home screen and lock screen with dynamic background support and also on the home screen you now have a new set of uh, pride wallpapers that have uh, different strings of colors to spell out pride. And basically that's it for this uh, update. This update wa wasn't really huge. Uh, the, the update process was reasonably fast. And that's it. Uh, you can comment what do you think about these new features in this update. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. You can find a lot useful content about iOS programming. And see you in the next video.